What to do crew, I wanna talk about a topic that's been brought up a few times in the last few months, and that is the possibility of forgiving student loan debt. In the last year, one of the biggest things that President Biden and his camp talked about in their race was doing this, as well as a bunch of politicians wanted to forgive up to $50,000 of student loan debt. But the question is, is that even possible? My name is Ver, and I attended college in the big old state of Texas. Oh, from 2010 to 2014. I graduated from a small town in Washington and then I had the goal of leaving my hometown or leaving my home state to go to school in Texas to major in engineering. Despite a few bad grades here and there, I found an interest in computer science, so I switched to that major. I joined a fraternity. I rode a bicycle from Austin, Texas to Anchorage, Alaska, and I graduated with a computer science degree on top of $30,000 in student loan debt. Since student loan debt is a $1.7 trillion crisis in America, as well as the hashtag trending on Twitter, cancel student loan debt was a trending topic during the election because, you know, why not? People were excited that this could possibly happen. Let's talk about what what this means, how it might affect people like you and me, what has happened so far, and if it can actually happen. At the beginning of President Biden's presidential term, he almost immediately extended the forbearance and moratorium on student loans until the end of September 2021. And this has actually been extended multiple times over the last year to ease the strain on debt holders. I personally have these federally backed student loans and I've been contemplating whether or not I should be paying them off or not. And I actually took to social media, specifically Instagram, to ask my followers should I pay off my student loans. Surprisingly, there was a split between paying off my student loans and not paying off my student loans. Basically, two out of three people said pay off your student loans, and then the minority of one out of three people said don't. I decided I will pay some of my student loans because one, I'm in the position to do so, and two, I think my money elsewhere would be more beneficial in saving, investing, or building up my emergency fund, and that will put me in a better position later on. But with the uncertainty from last year and the recovery that's going on right now, can this promise actually come to be? Progressives actually have been pushing President Biden to forgive up to that $50,000 almost instantly through an executive order, but he has pushed back and asked for Congress to propose a bill. This actually started about a month after his inauguration where he asked Congress to propose a bill giving the mark of $10,000 to be forgiven instantly, but then a little bit after that, a week or so later, Democratic senators like Chuck Schumer and Elizabeth Warren actually pushed for the $50,000, but the president during a town hall said, I don't think I have the authority to to do $50,000. This went on for a little bit, and then it wasn't until earlier this month where the American Rescue Plan Act was signed with a provision that any student loan debt forgiven between December 2020 and December 2025 will be tax-free. This basically means if any debt conversion were to come up or an amount be forgiven, it would not be taxed. Which by the way, if you were pulling for student loan forgiveness, that would have been taxed had this provision not been made. While it might sound nice, $50,000 is a lot of money, so if you had any amount forgiven or up to $50,000, that would have been a big bill come tax season. So instead of an executive order, the other way is the traditional way of things, which is the three-step process where a bill would be drafted up in the House, reviewed and passed on to the Senate for review, which if that it passed there, it would go onto the desk to the president to sign or veto. The proposals being pushed through Congress are to give President Biden the ability to forgive these student loans through executive action up to $50,000, have these loans be tax-free, as mentioned earlier, as well as extend the forbearance period until we're out of this pandemic. So basically, the latter two out of three things have happened already. But what about the point of forgiving that $50,000 in student loan debt? The Higher Education Act of 1965 actually gives the government the power to provide financial aid for qualified college students, as well as fund programs and other nice things for a quality of education. So my education actually didn't only cost the $30,000 in loans that I accrued, it actually was around the neighborhood of $45,000. So that extra $15,000 came from scholarships and grants through my hometown, as well as through programs like if you're familiar with the Pell Grant, the Perkins loan, or the Stafford loan, which all wouldn't be possible without this act. The argument is, is because of this act, the government has the ability to eliminate student loans as they please. The strategy here would be to have President Biden direct his Secretary of Education to basically, like Wanda Maximoff from WandaVision, cast a spell to make up to $50,000 of student loan debt just disappear in the city of Westview. But instead of a nice MCU story, we had Congress arguing back and forth about how to disperse $1,400 in stimulus checks, and then that was approved earlier this month, which that happened, and all student loans got was that tax provision. 
Statistically speaking, forgiving student loan debt would actually be a very quick and easy way to deposit $200 to $400 in the pockets of 45 million Americans, as well as minimize the wealth gap between black and Latino debt borrowers and their white counterparts. One interesting set of statistics that I found during my research was that after a 20-year time span post-graduation, white borrowers were able to reduce their debt by 94%, whereas black, Latino, as well as other POC debt borrowers were remained at 95% after that same time span. On the flip side, the first argument and probably the main one in forgiving student loans is this would leave out almost 80% of Americans because only 20% of the population actually have student loans. The second argument being that this would only really help the more wealthier career paths because research shows that this proposal may give up to $192 billion to the top 20% of earners, whereas it would only give $29 billion to the bottom 20% of earners. For example, you have doctors, lawyers, engineers, nurses and other high paying jobs where they're going to have a higher amount of debt but have the higher probability of paying them off anyway so it could be argued that paying off this debt would be going to the ones who don't really need it because of that the third argument could be that it is paying off rich debt because majority of debt goes to more affluent borrowers which they're going to be paying it off anyway as well this is generalizing but statistically sound because I do know there are people who don't come from rich backgrounds but do take out some debt, but that is a minority versus the ones who actually do take out debt and can pay off those loans responsibly. So if there was maybe a more targeted proposal based on say income instead of just $50,000 for everyone who has debt, that might be a little bit more productive. But the last argument against this move and probably the one that needs to be thought about the most is that it doesn't address the current economic situation as well as the problems in the educational system itself. Colleges have raised tuition tremendously in the latter part of the century and cost millions of people to go into debt and not needing approval to do so because, yes, why not? The government can just give away money with no approval and then because of that, colleges know that they can raise their tuition because they're going to get paid anyway and then responsibility gets put onto the student and in some cases onto the parent through some certain loan products. There actually is another argument in line with the second one that I mentioned and it's more of an ethical question of how do the 80% of people who do not have student loans get compensated or treated if this proposal goes through. Forgiving up to $50,000 in student loan debt could have a lot of people thinking. Sheesh, had I known I'd have $50,000 forgiven, I would have just went to a better college, spent recklessly, took out these student loans, and I could have gotten a better education. These are just some examples, but being someone who did take out student loans because I decided to, as well as being able to pay back those loans over time consistently, compared to people who didn't want to or didn't have the opportunity to do so, would that be really fair? So obviously this is where the confusion comes from where if President Biden can actually do this and why Congress is pushing it. But according to section 432A of the Higher Education Act, it gives the Secretary of Education the ability to enforce, pay, compromise, waive, or release any right title, claim, lien, or demand, however acquired, including any equity or any right or redemption. This is why it is argued it can be done, and with how fast or slow Congress moves, this can go on for years. But look at what President Biden is doing with his tax-free provision until 2025, if anything were to happen. Or his proposal to forgive $10,000 instead of $50,000 for student loan borrowers, which would wipe out debt for 15 million borrowers, including myself, who have loans of $10,000 or less. According to federal data, 67% of borrowers have more than $10,000 in student loan debt. President Biden also mentioned eligibility possibilities like if you went to a public school, historically black colleges or minority serving schools, if you have undergraduate debt, not including graduate or advanced degree debt, and phasing this out if you make more than $125,000 a year or more very similar to the stimulus check phase out plans. These proposals do not affect any borrowers with private loans, but he has mentioned support for discharge on private student debt in bankruptcy easier. There are many more possibilities like public service for government workers and other eligibility, longer forbearance periods extending past the current September 2021 expiration, income driven repayment changes, Pell Grants, as well as free tuition for certain eligibilities too. Essentially, it'll come down to this. There most likely won't be any executive action, and President Biden will want to go through the traditional three-step process to see what the public wants to do because, uh, 
Congress, representatives, and senators represent that, right? In my honest opinion that nobody asked for, and I do recognize I do come from a place of privilege, is that I'm one of many students who decided to take out student loans because I wanted to, and I've been fortunate enough to pay those back because I'm able to, and that is what I believe in. I've also personally done many different things paying back my student loans over the years. Like at first, I really wanted to pay them off aggressively, so I used work bonuses to pay that off, but then there was also a time span where I had to pay off a bonus back including interest and taxes, so I basically lowered the amount of payments on my student loans to pay that back too. Thankfully, I was employed at the time, and despite the low pay, I discovered other ways to make more money. On one hand, I support helping people, especially ones who are in marginalized groups and others who have taken out more loans and have lower wages. On the other hand, I understand the frustration of those who took out loans on their own conscious decision and responsibly paid those back because, well, I'm one of those people. There are also the ones who didn't take out student loans because one, they couldn't, or they didn't want to because they wouldn't want to put themselves in a negative position, which consequently puts them at risk in a lower probability of success because of what society says that you need to go to college to be successful. Don't go to college? You're a loser. Don't have a nice car on the loan? You're a loser. Don't have a house yet? says a boomer. But aside of me going on a mini rant and the position that I'm in, I really have no room to complain. But if I wasn't fortunate enough and I did have the amount of student loans that I did, I definitely would be pushing for hashtag cancel student debt, or I would have been like, shoot, I should try to go to a better school, take out more loans because in the end, it will be forgiven anyway. At the end of the day, if these student loans are forgiven, just like anything, it'll be the taxpayers fronting the bill. That includes you, me, my parents, your parents, their parents, friends, family, and really also anyone who didn't have anything to do with this or anything at all. So I personally would push for targeting specific groups in need based on a function of income, amount of debt, and also earnings potential. The reason I say this, and this is also a very general example, is that high earners will have a higher probability of paying off those loans versus another profession like teachers who get significantly paid less. Anyways, let me know what you think about forgiving student loan debt in the comments below and if you have student loans and you want to start paying those off, you can check out the link in the description below to Yada Bank and you receive one ticket for every $25 saved in that account and you potentially have the chance of winning $10,000 without having to wait for Congress to make any action. Don't forget to obliterate the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you know the next time I post a video on my channel. You can check me out on Instagram. I post there from time to time and I do have fun there, so have fun with me there. And last, check out Millennial Investments where it's a website with curated content just like this on how to build your wealth and we have cool swag too so if you enjoyed the video or you learned something take that get to work bye, 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 bye.